Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, we're gonna be making a card using this gorgeous trio of tulip stamp from Indigo Blue. We're gonna need clear embossing powder for this technique because we're going to be doing the Joseph's Coat technique. And we're gonna add a little twist to the end of it as well. So first of all, I've got a piece of cardstock. This measures, I think it's just over five by seven. And we just want to get some ink down onto it. So I'm using my Distress Oxides today. I've got dried marigold, twisted citron, mermaid lagoon and picked raspberry. And we just want to get those colours down. In fact, the brighter the colours are for this technique, the nicer the end result is. So go crazy with your colours. You're not after a perfect blend. You just want to get ink down on the cardstock. Uh, I'm just using the lid there just so that I don't get any inky fingerprints all over it. And yeah, we're just getting all that colour down. So then you're going to want to set your panel aside to dry or use a heat tool. And once it's dry, you want to then go over it with your anti-static powder bag. So this is a panel that I made earlier. And I'm just going over it with my anti-static powder bag now just to make sure that there's no kind of grease marks or finger marks or anything like that on the cardstock ready for the heat embossing. So I've got this tulip stamp from Indigo Blue. I've mounted it to my acrylic block and I'm using my Wow Embossing ink pad. So I'm just going to ink that up, make sure it's got a really good coverage, stamp that down and you'll be able to see in a moment when I pull the stamp off the lovely crisp impression that we've got there of those tulips. So we're then going to go ahead and take our clear embossing powder and we're just going to make sure that we've got again good coverage over the stamped image. I'm then going to go ahead and stamp the Tulip Sentiment stamp as well using the Wow Embossing ink and I'm using the Metallic Platinum Embossing Powder for this sentiment as well. I'm then going to heat set it so I've got my Wow heat tool on the hottest setting which is the number two setting and I'm just heat setting that and you can see all the powder melt in there. And so once that's all heat set you want to go ahead and take a black ink. Now you can use any colour for this, any dark colour but I'm using black today because I think it really shows the technique up best. I've got a scrap of paper because I don't want to get ink all over my desk and then I'm just going to take my ink pad directly to the card and just ink all over it. It looks a bit like a hot mess at first but you'll see when we um, buff up the embossed areas it really kind of helps the image to pop. So you can use any dark colour for this, you could use a dark purple or a dark blue or a dark green even. But yeah, the black really just makes the image pop. So that is what is known as the Joseph's Coat Technique. Now just to step it up a little bit, I've got some luscious powder from Indigo Blue. And these are little parts of artist grade pigment mica and a binder. So there's no fillers in them. They're highly, highly pigmented. And so we're going to be able to just use these dry and brush them over the card panel. Now you, there's lots of different techniques that you can do with these powders. I do I want to share some of the techniques that you can do with them on my channel at a later date. So keep your eye out for that if you're particularly interested in these powders. But today all I'm going to do is just take a little paintbrush and I'm just going to brush some of it all over that panel. I'll try and find out which colour this is because this came as a starter kit with their gilding gum. So I'll see if I can find out exactly what colour it is and link it in the description box below. But all I'm doing is taking a paintbrush and I'm just going all over that background black ink panel. I really just wanted to add a little bit of sparkle and shine to this panel. So yeah, it was just another way of kind of adding something a little bit different to the Joseph's Coat technique, but at the same time not taking away from that gorgeous multicoloured tulip image that we've got stamped out. I'm just using that same piece of damp kitchen towel just to go over it again and just buff it up and you can see the shimmer that it creates. Now you can still see some brush strokes, we're going to go ahead and rectify that in a little bit but first of all I'm just taking this lovely scripty text stamp and just adding some of that with some clear wow embossing ink in the background and because we're stamping it over the top of the pigment powder it kind of leaves that lovely textured impression without kind of needing any ink or anything like that so yeah, another little way that you can use your watermark ink pads or your embossing ink pads. So I'm just going over it again with the pigment powder there just to um, try and cover up some of these brush strokes that we got because I was a little bit heavy handed with the pigment initially. And then look at that shine. It's really, really gorgeous. You will see in the close up photos at the end just really how shimmery it is. So I've got this A2 nested die set from Craft Stash. Uh, some of the layers are stitched and some of them aren't. I really wanted a stitched layer, so I've gone ahead and die cut that out. So I've now got a matte layer and I'm just using my embossing ink pad just to go around the edges because I want to use the same metallic platinum embossing powder around the edges just to create 
a nice matte layer that's going to be cohesive with the rest of the project. So I'm just quickly heat setting that from underneath. This is a great little hack if you've not got any metallic cardstock in your stash or if you run out or just so that you can make sure that you get exactly the right tone of gold or silver or platinum, whatever you've used on your card. So yeah, it's a neat little way of just creating a little matte layer and it doesn't really use that much powder at all. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue our lovely tulip panel to that. I'm going to use some double-sided tape first, um, just because there's a little bit of warping where we've done the heat embossing on the matte layer. So just using some double-sided tape and adding liquid glue just means that while the liquid glue is drying, the tape kind of gives that temporary adhesion and it just stops it coming apart. So then I'm going to mount it onto an A2 top folding card blank that I've got in my stash. And yeah, that'll be the finished card for today. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this card come together. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried the Joseph's Coat technique before or if you've tried Luscious Powders. And yeah, I'll leave some close-up photos. As always, all the products that I've used will be linked in the description box below. And please don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more from my channel. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.